Hello and welcome to another Enzo VN gaming video and this time we'll be taking down the Blitz Bell Aka Ainu which is the most difficult version and if you don't have like a top tier legend it's going to be a real struggle for you to beat this consistently and since I have Neko Mamushi I'm going to go pretty ham on this event definitely going to try to get to the top 2500 and maybe top 1000 but I'll see how it goes after the first day and see where I stand the clutch unit once again is Kanjiro because if you run into Umigumo on stage 4 he will make it so that your chain is reduced by like 99% so if you don't have a chain locker like Kanjiro it's going to be really difficult to beat Aka Ainu. Albedo is really nice and I'm using her over Smoker because she also gives you that damage reduction and since there's going to be a crap ton of mobs on stage 5 which I'm going to deal with after I kill Aka Ainu, taking a hit will be really nice. If you have a shorter cooldown striker booster like Fukuboshi he'd be a lot more useful than Alkaji since you have to store a lot longer but it's still not the end of the world if you have to use Alkaji like me. Nami is just kinda there, you can use pretty much anyone else, but she can be useful for stage 4 just to stall out a bit more time if you're having a little bit of difficulty. One thing to ensure that you really need to have is level 3 anti-bind to get rid of all the stages that give you binding, especially on stage 1 and 2. With the Alkaji bike and the Delve Nako team I'm going to be using, I'm going to have over 50,000 HP, which is actually pretty sweet. So with all that said, let's get started. So on the first stage before anything else even happens, you get binded for 3 turns, but thankfully thanks to my sockets, that's pretty much just reducing my cooldowns by 1 turn. I uh, just want to wait out for my CDs, mostly just Alkaji. As you can see, it's a monstrous freaking 16 on turn 1. If he was uh, sp uh, boosted like Neko and Kenjiro, it'd be so good. But unfortunately, since you know he's a boss, I guess you don't want to be using him to beat him. Again, this stage is pretty easy. I think these dudes, as normal, if you get them below, I think 30%, they'll blind you for a certain number of turns. But, you know, just don't do that. Kill them. When they go off cooldown, stall on the turtles, just wait for Alkaji special. The turtles again will let you stall pretty easily with no damage taken, thanks to the auto heal pretty much. Dun, dun, dun. I'd probably, yeah, strength turtles are pretty nice to get for me personally. I have so much Psy EXP at the moment, so running Kizaru would be a pain to just get more Psy EXP. This stage is obviously pretty boring and I might not have to store this many turns especially because this is stage 2 and there's 3 more stages left and Alkaji is pretty much almost done anyway I should have just killed this guy as fast as possible now but you know better safe than sorry this is actually taking way longer than I remembered <laughs> in my all uh, in my next runs I'll make sure to not freaking take so long on this freaking Elder Tail yep and then Impatience takes over I just like screw it kill these guys you can actually run into a secret back on the first three stages, he will special silence you for two turns. But I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem, especially for this team. Now that I stored way too much on stage two, I can just quickly smash through this stage. Again, you get binded, and again, it doesn't matter. Neko just kills him even with a badly matching orb. Now onto the fourth stage, you either get Onigumo or Doberman. Onigumo is actually much worse, especially if you don't have Kenjiro since he reduces your chain. So if you don't have Kenjiro or another chain locker uh, and you run into Onigumo, you kind of just screwed <laughs> for Aka Ainu. But luckily I have Kenjiro. <laughs> so just, yep, kill thing thanks to Neko's special to give you all matching orbs. And onto Aka Ainu himself. Now what's really amazing is that um, Aka Ainu will randomize your orbs if you use an orb manipulator, but since I'm using Neko Mamushi, it doesn't count as an orb manipulator. So Neko is just really amazing, which is I'm pretty sure like everyone is using Neko for the Aka Ainu ranking. Like I looked on the website and pretty much everyone was using Neko. So here also cuts your HP by 50% and gets a great barrier. And now just time to kill him. I'm going to use these guys around him, Have all all have 5 HP but like a crap ton of defense. So which is why Alvida is actually really nice because I'm going to burst him and kill like I knew on turn 1, and thanks to Alvida, I'll be able to, be able to tank all their hits without much problem. Here I decided to like just use the specials just to make it easier to kill those dudes on the next turn. Since it's not going to do any damage to like I knew anyway. Get rid of the barrier with Alkaji since he's dex, and not boosted like Kenjiro, and then 2 Neko smashes his face in. For 4.5 million damage on turn 1. Which is pretty sweet. There, you can see I just tanked everyone, and now it's just a matter of just killing them with your combos. I probably could kill it faster when you use Alvida faster, but yep. That's the Aka Ainu stage. If you have Neko Mamushi, it's pretty much a cakewalk. 
Actually, like, Kenjiro is probably more important just because of the chain lock if you run into um, Onigumo. But, yep, Steam's pretty nice, and I'm definitely going to try to get to at least the top 2500. Like, I ran it once, and I was in the top 2750 ish. So, definitely going to try and get to top 2500. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. My Nakama!